So this little guy over here, his name is Ziggy, he's afraid of beeping sounds. Um, it gets him all in a fright, nervous. So I'm going to turn on my treadmill that makes a beeping sound. And let's just see what he does. So you saw him make a, a look. Let's see if I can get some more beeping sounds. See how he's shivering? See how the beeping makes him shiver? Try it again. Okay, so I'm going to work on a little bit of like counter conditioning and I'm going to use the e-collar. He likes to eat. Um, let's see what he does when he just hears the beep of the e-collar. Hang on a sec, I gotta turn it. Okay, so he doesn't like that sound, right? So I'm gonna leave the e-collar over here. It's not on him, but it does beep, right? I'm gonna put it next to me. Whoops, wrong one. It needs to have, there we go. So he doesn't like it, right? So I'm going to work on counter conditioning with it over here, not in his ear, because eventually I want him to be okay with that tone sound for a recall. If he never gets okay with that tone sound, we won't use the tone. We'll just use stimulation. And tone will eventually turn to stimulation anyway, so all dogs understand what e-collar stimulation means. But it's nice with this particular brand, e-collar technologies, to go to tone because it will tone, or I'll just show you, he's not gonna like it. It will tone, I'll push this button down, you'll hear tone for 1.2 seconds, and it'll turn, it'll stay red, but then it turns to stimulation, watch. So now it's stimming. So that would be stimulation on the dog. So the dog can actually learn how to avoid the stim by coming in that first 1.2 seconds. Here we do it again. It's stim. So if they would have turned around and come right then, they don't get the stimulation. So I like to teach that with dogs. Okay, back to this guy. We're gonna do a little counter conditioning with his meal. So I'm gonna get his food out. What did I do with the bowl? Oh, here it is. And River, you're just gonna hang tough. You're gonna get some training next. I'm going to put a leash on him. I'm going to shut this door. So I, I don't like, just this is, this, so I'm always dog training. I don't like it when they get up. Um, the fact that he sat back down is okay, so I'm going to walk back over here. I don't want them to, nope. So I said nope and I'm walking away. I want him to realize I'm only going to come over there when he's in a sit, and eventually it'll be a down. Good, mark that down, or that sit. So it's good to note we're always training our dog. So every time he reaches toward me, I move away. Right, I don't necessarily want him to reach toward me. I didn't mean to leave this on you, sorry buddy. Let's move that out of there. Nope, so right there, nope. He sits back down, I go, nope, good. I want him to stay in a sit. All this nonsense I'm doing doesn't mean he can get up yet. And see how he's shaking and quivering? This is pretty typical for this guy. His paw, nope. My spatial, I noped and put spatial pressure on him. I want to be able to move, nope. Use the kennel door as spatial pressure. His paw lifting is, is just anxious and anxiety. It's like, what's happening next? What's happening next? The yawning. He's just a nervous guy. So the longer I take with him, like slowing down and things, the better. I'm not expecting anything of him. Nope. I'm not really expecting it. Nope. Anything of him. And I am noping him a lot because nope is a marker word. I am marking the thing in that right when I'm saying nope, he's doing something I don't like, like moving forward or whatever, so I'm marking that behavior and then I'm following it up with a reinforcement, which is like shutting the door or moving toward him. Some dogs you need stronger reinforcements for your nope. If he looks at me, let's go. And he's allowed to come. So now 
He's curious about that. That's nice. Ouch. Ouch, little guy. Sorry. You kind of pulled my finger funny. Okay, so now I'm going to leave this e-collar behind. Behind. I want you guys to see what I'm doing. I want to be far enough away from... Here's the e-collar. I'm going to set it here by the camera. He's curious. Nope. So I don't want him jumping on me. And basically what I'm doing here, now I'm getting into the counter conditioning of showing him that when he hears a tone, he's going to eat. So it's tone, food, tone, food, tone, food. And maybe this won't work. So see how it's far away and he's, I'm not making him do anything. I just want him to realize the tone isn't a bad thing. He's still shaking, but he's eating. So this is loading, this is what people say, loading the clicker or loading, loading the tone. So he's hearing the beep and then he's eating. Beep, eat. Beep, eat. And if um, he weren't into this kibble, I would go up way higher value treat. So I'm going to put it in my hand so he doesn't see the... I want to equate, like, I should get a treat bag, really. I want him to hear it and then it appears. See this sound up here? is also a marker. That's not what I'm doing. I'm doing the, the tone as the marker. And eventually, I will make him come towards me to get it. So super simple exercise for this guy. I want to get a little movement toward me. So when now he hears the tone. So what I'm, I'm doing, two things here. And I'm going to keep it pretty simple and short. I'm, I'm turning this on and then bringing him toward me at that point. So I'm, the turning it on and feeding him is about, um, whoops, where are you going, buddy? What is it about? What am I trying to say? Good boy. It is about reconditioning, repatterning, um, counter conditioning this sound. Also, the second bit of having him move toward me is simulates eventually a recall, but it's going to look way different because he'll be further away. He'll come into a sit, but this is just what I'm doing as a little foundational work. Again, the e-collar is far away. The tone is far away. It's not in his ear. If it were in his ear, he'd go like this and maybe run from it. So this is kind of like the marker word yes, really. I use, if you've watched my videos, I use yes, meaning come to me, get the food. It's the same thing. That beep is like the yes. See what happens if I drop the leash. Good. And I might do this with um, the treadmill beeping too and other beeps. I might just turn that on and every time it beeps or I'll find other devices like it, they, So this is when I shouldn't really drop the leash because I want him to follow through on it. Um, the, the thermometer at the family's house. So he, I let him finish licking the floor there. I don't know if you saw it. 
and then I beeped it. I don't want him to be distracted at anything right now. I want him to be somewhat, I mean, he could be walking around, not looking at me. Good. I like that. He turned to get that one. So I always work with the dog that's in front of me. This guy doesn't like beeps. He doesn't like the e-collar tone. He's had e-collar work just with tone kind of stuff, so I'm, I'm changing it up for him. And maybe I'm not going to let him get so far away. And again, now I'm hiding my hand again, remember? I have to be careful of making the kibble sound in the bowl what he's going for, because I really want it to be the tone. So this would have been better with a treat bag. Again, if you've ever heard of the term loading the clicker, I'm loading the tone. Let's get a bigger handful. It's a good thing this guy's food motivated because it helps with a nervous dog. So a pretty simple exercise I'm doing here. Good. And I should be careful of leaving too much food on the floor because I don't want to tone and then have them get the food off the floor. Good boy, bud. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Keeping the session pretty short. And the next session we'll start doing something like this, but I might increase the distance. And eventually I will get to where the e-collar is on his neck. Good. But not yet, because that'll be too close to his ear. And he's not coming and looking at me. He's not sitting for me. All that stuff will come up in a little bit. Okay, this is the last handful. Good. And I have to be careful about him stepping on the leash and correcting himself. Good boy. All right. Super simple. We're going to do something else now. <laughs>